Can you replace the driver in your subwoofer? This question comes to us from Steve in Ambler, Pennsylvania, ambling along in, in Penn. Um, hey, Paul, I have a 20-year-old Velodyne Servo F1200 subwoofer. The cone's dried out and fallen apart over the years. My question is, can I just replace the 12-inch speaker with a non-servo speaker? Just hook up the positive and the negative leads? W will it still sound okay, and, and will it create any problems with the servo amp? I'm not looking for perfection here, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for use by my 16-year-old son with video games and movies. Yeah, that sounds like a quiet household right there. All right. Uh, the quick answer is yes, yes, absolutely, you can do that. The, I'll, I'll run you through what some of the problems you're going to find are, but disconnecting the servo is not going to affect the amplifier. Not having a servo is going to affect the, the sonic performance. But, yeah, kids running, you know, 16-year-old here. Um, so a couple things you could do. Uh, you could send it out and get it reconed uh, and, and keep everything. But let's just say that you want to just use the Velodyne's amplifier. It's built-in subwoofer amplifier, and but no problem. Now, here's the thing that's going to uh, change for you. Oh, goodness, people are after me. What's, what's going to change for you is that that box and that woofer and the EQ and everything in that amplifier was set up to work with a servo. And while the amplifier itself should be just fine, you, you might not have the best low end because typically in those smaller boxes, and I'm assuming this is one of the, eh, you know, the smaller Velodyne woofers or, or box sizes, that uh, you're going to have a kind of a roll off on the bottom end. But hey, for video games and stuff, not a problem, not a big deal. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, there are other ways of, of going about this. Again, reconing it. There are services that'll recone it. You can go on eBay and I, I found a Velodyne 12 inch woofer because we wanted to look and see what they were doing in their servo. They use a chip for their servo and we were looking to see how they did that. Well, I went on eBay and I bought one. I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. So that's an option for you as well. Um, servos have their own circuitry that shouldn't really affect the overall amplifier. In the case that Paul is wrong, and I've encouraged people <laughs> If you take my advice, please, you know, drop me a note and let me know how it worked. Well, you idiot, it just it didn't work at all, you know. So just, just let me know. But in the case that I'm wrong, you can go to Parts Express or you can go to uh, the Parts Connection, two online resources. There you can buy a plate amplifier that is generic and will work fine with, and you can even buy the woofer. So you can buy the woofer and the plate amplifier, and then all you have to do is just find something that is close to fitting into the box there, or you could even keep it outside if it's just for the kid, right? So those are just a couple of options that you might consider, uh, given that it doesn't work. I, I mean, heck, they sell the boxes, they sell the woofer, they sell the plate amps. You could put something together for, I don't know, 100 bucks, $120? All in, might be kind of a fun project for you and your son. Okay, hope that helps. Good luck with your project and do drop me a line. Let me know what happened and I'll, I'll report back and, and we'll do the, you know, right, wrong, yes or no. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.